Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC, we do everyday DIY and in today's video I'm going to show you how to replace a Schrader valve with a valve for removal tool. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. Today we're working on this refrigeration rack system. When I took off some of the refrigerant port caps, I noticed some of the Schrader valves were leaking and today we're going to be replacing them. I picked up some valve pores. These are made by Subco. There they are. I also got some new caps for them. And I also purchased a new quarter inch valve core removal tool. Even though I already have one, it's good to have another one. So we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to use this valve core removal tool so we can replace the Schrader valve without having to recover the refrigerant. Here I have the Inficon TechMate. This is a refrigerant leak detector, an electronic one. Let's see if I can get a better shot. It's super loud here. So when you got that constant light, you have a leak. So I have it pointed here. I take off this cap. Right there, that constant beat. So these things are leaking. So today's goal is to replace all of these Schrader valves, all new caps. They have a lot of ports here. Over there, here, here. We got a lot of caps here that we gotta change. Here we have our valve core removal tool made by Apion. This one is really nice. This is part number MGAVCT. I really like this one because you got the little magnet on there. Honestly, very helpful. I actually have another one in my bag. This is made by Richie Yellow Jacket. This one is actually really good too. I think these two are my favorite. Drop a comment below if you have any preference and which one you think is the best. So here's the valve cord removal tool. All right. This part will attach to the system. And this tool here is your valve core remover. You can spin this off. Right there you have the teeth on there where you can use the valve core. So let's just set this up properly. You also have a valve here where you can stop the flow of refrigerant. You try to open and close it, it won't when this is pushed in. This has to be pulled out for you to stop the flow of refrigerant. It's actually really good too. It's not just for doing this job here, it's for a bunch of other things like removing the cores and stuff like that when you're recovering and pulling vacuums, which makes it a lot faster. Here's a port where you can attach your vacuum gauge while you have it attached to the system, all that good stuff. And when you take this off, let's say you have this to the system, you got your vacuum gauge on here and your refrigerant hose on there. So there's a bunch of setups here. Let's go ahead and get this part started. Let's go. Come closer. So here we have the problem area. You take off the cap, get rid of it. So it was in this normal position. What you're gonna do is spin this on to our port, a quarter inch access port, and it doesn't have to be too tight. Okay, got it on there. Cool. This piece right here goes in and out. This is what we're gonna use to pull the core in and out. Now that it's open with the valve open, this can go all the way down. So we're gonna push down, try to catch the, the, the Schrader valve. So what we're gonna, I believe I got it. So I'm gonna press down, apply pressure on it, and spin. Apply pressure on it and spin to when I think the Schrader core is out. Now that I believe it's out, the refrigerant pressure is going to push that out. Now let's close this valve. To stop the refrigerant flow. Now, when I pull this out, I should have the valve to put the Schrader valve. Sometimes you got to do this a few times. It's a little tricky sometimes. Ah, no Schrader valve. 2,000 years later. All right, so spin this off. Take our new valve core and place it on the tool. Make sure 
so you got a grip on there. Holding this down and spinning it. And we should feel some resistance once we get towards the end. We'll know if it actually seated. Oh, I started to feel some resistance. Like that. And then we can take this off. And there you go. Trainer valve inside was replaced. Here's our leg detector, and you can see we don't have a leak sensitivity so we're good to go there now I'm gonna get rid of this junky old ugly cap put a nice new one and a new gasket put that on there tighten it down we are good to go we got three done so far you can tell by the color of the new caps and yeah we're gonna do every single one for this unit definitely something good to do and we're gonna wrap this one up here if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe as i come out with new videos every week and i'll catch you all next time